today I'm here filming part two of my Q&A videos. Also, I'm sorry my voice is really bad. I have been sick for a couple weeks and it's been a cough, so I'm sort of starting to lose my voice. Okay, so a couple of months ago I did a part one Q&A and these are all questions that I got a couple months ago. I will probably be doing more in the future with more updated questions. Okay, so some of these questions are from YouTube and then some of them are also from Instagram so I will be putting the question along with the name of the person who asked it on the screen. Okay, so Primrose underscore books asked any nicknames. Actually, you may have not known this, but my nickname is Lizzie. Um, my brother calls me that, and my real name isn't actually Lizzie. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. <laughs> she also asked, if your whole life was written in a book, would you read it until the end? I don't think so. While I don't like surprises, I also don't want to know what's going to happen in my future. I'd rather not know than know, so I don't think so. At Book in a Nook asked, if you could star in a book to movie adaptation, what book would you want it to be and who would you play? So if I could be in any book to movie adaptation and be any character, I would want it to be Ruby Elizabeth Daly from the Darkest Minds trilogy because that is my favorite trilogy of all time and she is my favorite fictional female character of all time and I just love her character and those books so much and I mean I sort of look how she's described but not exactly how I pictured her. I picture Emily Rudd like she's my dream Ruby. But, I mean, if I could, I'd be like, <gasps> yes. At Raku Reads on Instagram asked, Can you read if there's a lot of noise or do you need complete silence? I usually need silence. Um, I can read with music usually. It's just if there are a lot of people talking. Sometimes I can zone it out and read, but for the most part, I can't. Fangirl underscore assassin and book nerd 5SOS asked, Favorite band slash artist? I really don't know. I've never known what to say to favorite band. I like Imagine Dragons. I like one of their albums. I haven't even listened to their new album. I really don't know. My favorite like kind of music is Celtic or like Scottish Celtic kind of music. So I mean that's my favorite genre of music but I don't have a favorite artist. I really like Tiffany Alvord. She's a YouTube singer and I've been following her for five years. She's amazing. But like for the most part that's not my kind of music. I like the sort of instrumental Scottish beautiful music. At Deddy P on YouTube asked, do your family slash friends know about your channel? Uh, I think my entire like immediate family knows and actually just recently my extended family found out. Some of my friends know, some don't. For the most part they don't and it's not like I'm trying to keep it a secret from them, it's just weird like how do you bring that up? She also asked, what are some of your passions outside of books and reading? Um. I mean, does writing count? That's sort of bookish. I love horses and I love cats. My faith is a big passion of mine, just Christianity I guess, and yeah, I, whenever people say like, say something about yourself, I'm like, I like reading. And then I'm like, what else do I say? I mean, I just read, I don't do much else. <laughs> Josh Treadway on YouTube asked, paperback or hardback? Honestly, I really like both. If it's like a contemporary book, I want it in paperback because like you can read it by the pool, it doesn't matter if it gets wet, it's just like a floppy paperback and I love it. But hardcovers are so beautiful and every now and then like I want a paperback but for the most part I feel like personally I think hardcovers look really pretty on the shelf. For the most part hardcovers but sometimes I prefer the paperback or like the ARC version of it. Olivia Reads on YouTube asked, Mary Kiss Cliff, Percy Leo Liam. Oh my gosh. Girl, you don't ask that type of thing to me. I've had so long to think about this, and I have an answer, but I don't like it. So, this pains me to say, just so you know. I'm going to marry Liam. I know, I know, like, Percy's my soulmate. He's like my number one fictional boyfriend, but for some reason, realistically, Liam and I would get along better. He's like so sweet and like just gentle and kind, and Percy's more of like the like crazy sassy kind of character. So honestly for the, like if we're talking long term like marriage, Liam and I would probably work better together. I would kiss Percy because Percy is perfect. And huh, I would clip Leo. I really don't like saying that. I really don't. But I feel like I don't know. I mean, honestly like it'd be awkward to kiss Leo because he's apparently like 5'4 and I'm 5'6, so that's awkward. And also, I don't it'd be awkward to be married to him. I just, I don't see, I don't see it happening. I love him, but not like in a romantic way. 
Maybe Jason can catch him. I don't know. S. Herendel on YouTube asked, how old are you? I am 17 years old. Carmi Reads on YouTube asked, what YA book series has everyone read and loved that you are not interested in? Um, this one's pretty easy for me. The Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare. Everyone seems to have read it. Like, everybody on YouTube has read it. And I haven't. I've just, I've heard a lot of things about it and I'm, it just doesn't seem like something I would like at all. So I'm like, I'm just not gonna read it. Primrose013 asked, what book slash series got you into reading? Originally, it was the Moose Jaw Adventure series by Mary Harrelkin Bishop. I got these at this library book sale a year before I read Percy Jackson, and this is the first series I remember really just being obsessed with and wanting to read the next book right away. And just, it was such a fun adventure series, and I still haven't read the last book, but I just, I remember loving them so much, and I still want to reread them because I feel like this is really like the first series that I love that much. And then, of course, I read Percy Jackson, and Percy Jackson introduced me to BookTube, and then it never really stopped because BookTube introduced me to basically all the books on my shelves. And I've always loved reading, but it's just these are the first series that really got me obsessed, I think. Sky Blue Squirrel asked, what are your thoughts on fan fiction? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is before I knew what fan fiction was, but I used to read, like, Narnia fan fiction. I didn't even know that fan fiction was like a thing. I just found this website where people wrote like stories about stories and I was like obsessed. I printed out so many stories about Joe Paul and Eustace Scrub because it shipped them so hard. Yeah, I, I read it then. I mean, it's a nice way for fans to express, you know, creativity and write, but at the same time, I probably wouldn't read any just because if the author didn't write it, I don't really want to read it. Rachel Hanna on YouTube asked, do you plan on going to college? No, I'm not planning on going to college. I've just never really felt like I was supposed to. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I can't wait for college. I'm going to study this and this. And I'm just like, I've never really felt like I should. I don't have anything I really want to study. I mean, writing, I can learn all that online without spending thousands of dollars on college. And it just... For me personally, I'm not saying college is a waste. I think college is awesome. A lot of people go and it's really great for a lot of people. But for me personally, I've just never felt that I should go. You can be a successful author without going to college. And I understand that it's like maybe good for the future. You may need that degree. But I just, I don't see myself going. I don't know. Okay, so those are all of the questions that I had for this video. Thank you all so much for commenting them on YouTube and Instagram because there were so many and I didn't get to answer all of them, but I will probably be doing another one of these somewhat soon, so if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below or on Instagram or tweet them to me or whatever, and I will be sure to try and answer them in my next Q&A video. So I think that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! We all need each other, we all need each other, but I see I have been away for quite some time. We all need each other, we all need each other.